The Russia bombs religious shrines, Putin's agony. The bombing of religious shrines in Ukraine by Russian occupation forces is an example of Putin's agony. The Russian aggressor, President Vladimir Putin, is in agony according to the Russian news agency, Rizu. The aggressor has broken his teeth in Ukraine and is angry. The Russian Federation must be recognized as a terrorist state and Putin as a G1 terrorist in the world. Defenders of Ukraine in the Russian-Ukrainian war, Serish Idenko and Andriy Kovalyov, said this on air on the Expresso TV channel. According to the Rizu agency, the attacker attacked the church in Kharkiv. The Russian missile hit the Assumption Cathedral, where there were people. The Church of the University of St. Anthony, located at the National University of Kavras in Kharkiv, was also damaged. Here, all the windows were broken. The utensils of the church were damaged. There were no people in the church at the time of the missile attack. The church, in honor of the mere bearers of the Kharkiv eparchy of the EOC MP, was also damaged by the bombing. The bomb hit the headquarters of the Catholic Diocese Tuesday in the besieged Ukrainian city of Kharkiv. Forty people had taken refuge in the basement of the diocesan chancery when the bomb hit on March 1st, but there were no injuries. Italian news agency, sir, said. Comments It is clear that these Russian attacks on churches are not accidental, but truly premeditated targets. Russia has no respect for the religious beliefs of the Ukrainian people. And attacking temples consecrated to God is a great offense that weighs heavily on the person responsible for these outrages, directly on Russian President Vladimir Putin. Several churches were attacked on the same day, including the building of the Curia of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Kharkiv, Zaporozhye. Thank God no one was injured in these rocket attacks. We pray to God to stop the senseless war, which is just an excessive display of power by a powerful country like Russia against a small country like Ukraine, in order to enlarge Russia and thus consolidate Putin's empire. This war endangers the whole world in case it degenerates into a third world war with the intervention of other world powers. We raise our prayers for the protection of these people or the people of Ukraine, may God give them the strength to endure while this crisis is resolved. If you like this video, please give us a like, share it on social media, and please leave your valuable comments. God bless you.